In this video series, I am answering some of the frequently asked questions I get from students about the elements of math. In this problem, we're going to take a look at the prime factorization of 45. Now, prime factorization focuses on the prime numbers. Now, these are the numbers that can only be multiplied by 1 and itself. So that's going to be 1 and 2 and 3. Skip over 4 because you can multiply 2 times 2 to get 4. And 5 and 7. Skipping over 9 because you can do 3 times 3 to get 9. And so I get 11 and so forth. So there'll be some others, but this will get us started. What I like to do with my prime factorization is I want to do what's called a factor tree. Now, let's think of a prime number that I can multiply by something else to get 45. And I don't want to choose one. So let's just mark one off the list. Can I do 2 times something to get 45? Nope. Can I do 3 times something to get 45? Yes, I can do that. So that is 3 times 15. Now, I'm not going to write the times between them, but I'm putting 3 on one branch of my factor tree. I'm putting 15 on the other branch. I'm going to circle the 3 because it is the prime number. So I know this branch is done. Now we look at the other branch, 15. Again, is there something I can multiply? A prime number times something else to get 15. So 2 times something to get 15? No. 3 times something to get 15? Yes, that's what I needed. 3 and 5. Again, both of those are prime numbers, so I'm circling it. So now I'm ready to write my prime factorization. Remember those numbers we circled? That's your prime factorization. 3 times 3 times 5. Or if you want to write it with exponents, you've got two threes here. So you got three to the second times five. And that is my prime factorization of 45. I hope this helps you and you can use the factor trees to break down any number that you need to get its prime factorization.